a new practice for a new reality. There is a need for a new approach to managing our work and lives in today's fast-paced, information-saturated world and it's called the art of stress-free productivity. With the rise of technology, we are constantly bombarded with notifications, messages, and other distractions that can disrupt our work and flow. Many people have an overwhelming inbox, filled with emails, memos, voicemails, and other forms of information. Traditional time management techniques, such as prioritizing tasks or setting goals, can be ineffective in dealing with this kind of information overload. Often, we have projects or tasks that are not well-defined, and we don't know what the next steps are. This can lead to procrastination, anxiety, and missed deadlines. We often switch between different roles, tasks, and projects throughout the day, which can lead to mental fatigue and difficulty in staying focused. Traditional time management techniques may not address this issue. The five stages of mastering workflow. The five stages help individuals achieve a state of mind like water, where they can be calm, focused, and in control of their work and lives. By capturing all inputs, clarifying them, organizing them, reflecting on them, and engaging with them, individuals can increase their productivity and reduce their stress levels. Capture, collect all the inputs and ideas that come your way, whether they are emails, phone calls, notes, or ideas that pop into your head. Clarify, process, and clarify each input to determine whether it requires an action, a reference, or a trash bin. If it requires an action, decide what the next physical, visible action is. Organize the outcomes of the clarification process by creating lists and categories for tasks, projects, and reference materials. Keep these lists and categories up to date and review them regularly. Reflect, review your lists and categories to ensure that you are on track and making progress toward your goals. Reflect on your goals and commitments to ensure that they align with your values and priorities. Engage, take action on the tasks and projects that you have identified, using your lists and categories to guide you. Use your reflection time to ensure that you are engaged in the most meaningful and productive activities. The five phases of project planning. Defining purpose and principles. In this phase, you define the purpose and principles of the project. This involves clarifying the desired outcome, the values that will guide your actions, and the criteria that will define success. Outcome visioning. This phase involves creating a clear mental picture of the desired outcome. This helps to focus your attention and ensure that all actions are aligned with the end goal. Brainstorming. In this phase, you generate a list of all possible action steps to achieve the outcome. It is important not to censor or evaluate ideas during this phase, but rather, just getting everything out on paper. Organizing. This phase involves organizing the action steps into a logical sequence, determining which ones are dependent on others, and identifying any required resources. Identifying next actions. The final phase involves identifying the specific next actions that need to be taken to move the project forward. These actions should be defined clearly enough that they can be easily executed and checked off as complete. Practicing stress-free productivity. Regularly process and organize all inputs, whether they are emails, phone calls, or personal commitments. Leverage the Zygarnik effect. GTD encourages breaking down tasks into smaller, actionable steps, which leverages the Zygarnik effect to help keep tasks top of mind and increase motivation to complete them. Identify and manage one's own energy levels, as well as to schedule regular breaks and downtime to prevent burnout. Set clear expectations and provide regular feedback. Reduce decision fatigue by making decisions about tasks and projects ahead of time so that you can increase productivity. Stress-free productivity is not a one-time achievement, but an ongoing practice. By regularly reviewing and refining one's approach to managing tasks and information, individuals can reduce stress, increase productivity, and achieve their goals more efficiently. Setting up the time, space, and tools.
set up a dedicated physical space for processing and organizing tasks and information. This could be a desk or a room that is free from distractions and has all necessary tools and supplies within reach. Individuals need an effective time management system, including the use of a calendar to schedule appointments and time blocks for important tasks. Regularly review and maintain these systems to ensure that they remain effective and efficient over time. Scheduling regular tune-up sessions to review task lists, project plans, and other systems, and make any necessary adjustments or updates. By creating an environment that supports efficient and effective work, individuals can reduce stress, increase productivity, and achieve their goals more easily. Corralling your stuff. Regularly collect and process all incoming information and tasks. This could include emails, voicemails, mail, notes, and other inputs. Create a regular processing routine to ensure that nothing is missed or forgotten. Second, organize all of this information and tasks into a trusted system. This could be a notebook, digital app, or other tool that allows individuals to capture and categorize information in a way that makes sense to them. Regularly review and update this system. Schedule regular review sessions to ensure that tasks and projects are on track and make any necessary adjustments or updates. Maintain a clear and organized physical environment, including workspaces, filing systems, and storage areas. By decluttering and organizing these spaces, it'll reduce distractions and increase focus. Organizing, setting up the right buckets. Customize the system of categorizing tasks and projects to suit an individual's preferences and work style. For example, some individuals may prefer to use digital tools like a task manager app, while others may prefer a paper-based system like a planner or notebook. Create categories that are specific and actionable, such as Call Bob about Project X or Schedule meeting with the marketing team. These types of categories provide clarity on what action needs to be taken and can help to avoid vague or overly broad categories. Breaking down a large project into smaller steps and organizing them into categories like research, draft, and finalize can help to ensure that tasks are completed in a logical and efficient manner. Reviewing, keeping your system functional. Review systems regularly at intervals that work for your schedule and workload. This could be daily, weekly, or monthly, depending on the individual's needs and preferences. Through the reviewing process, individuals may identify areas of the system that need adjustment or improvement. This could include reorganizing categories or buckets, adjusting the frequency of reviews, or changing the tools or software used to manage tasks. Doing, making the best action choices, Define the next physical action required to move a task or project forward. This could be as simple as making a phone call, sending an email, or researching a topic. By identifying the next action, individuals can avoid feeling overwhelmed and start making progress. Organize tasks and projects according to their context, such as by location, tools required, or persons involved. By grouping tasks in this way, Individuals can streamline their decision-making process and take action more efficiently. Individuals should prioritize tasks based on their level of urgency and importance, and schedule them accordingly. Make time for creative and strategic thinking. This could involve scheduling regular brainstorming sessions or taking time to reflect on long-term goals and priorities. Minimize distractions and interruptions during the action phase in order to maximize productivity and focus. This could involve turning off notifications on one's phone or email, or finding a quiet workspace to complete important tasks. Getting projects under control. Start by defining the desired outcome of the project, in order to establish a clear vision for what needs to be accomplished. This could involve creating a written statement of the project goal or outcome. Once the project has been broken down into components, individuals should determine the next physical action required to move each component forward. This could involve assigning due dates or creating action lists for each component. Create a system for managing project information, 
such as creating project folders, using project management software, or maintaining a project journal. The power of the key principles. Capture every task, idea, and commitment that comes to mind, regardless of its size or importance. Clarify commitments by identifying the desired outcome and determine the next physical action required to move it forward. This involves asking questions such as, what's the next action? And what's the desired outcome? Organize tasks and projects by context, such as by location or tool needed, to ensure that individuals can easily access what they need when they need it. Regularly reviewing and reflecting will help you maintain focus and ensure that commitments are aligned with larger goals and objectives. Keep it simple stupid. Simplicity and minimizing complexity in order to reduce stress and increase productivity. This could involve simplifying processes, automating tasks, or delegating responsibilities. The path to GKD mastery. Capture everything. Clarify. Organize. Review. Prioritize. Delegate. Break down large tasks. Practice weekly planning. Avoid multitasking. Use context to your advantage. Use technology wisely. Use technology to support your GTD system, but avoid being distracted by notifications and other distractions. Practice self-care. Take breaks. Get enough sleep, exercise, and eat well to ensure that you have the energy and focus to accomplish your goals. Use the two-minute rule. If a task can be completed in two minutes or less, do it immediately. GTD and Cognitive Science The principles of capturing, clarifying, organizing, reflecting, and engaging are not just a set of techniques, but a way of life. By implementing the GTD methodology, Readers can achieve a state of mind like water, where they can be calm, focused, and clear-headed. This state can only be achieved through consistent practice of the GTD principles. Some common concerns and misconceptions about the GTD methodology are that some people may worry that following a system will stifle their creativity or spontaneity. But the opposite is true. By having a clear and organized system for managing tasks, people can actually free up mental space to be more creative and spontaneous. Commit to practicing the GTD methodology consistently and continually refine and adapt the system to your own needs and preferences. Productivity is not an end in itself, but a means to living a more fulfilling life. Externalizing tasks and organizing them in a trusted system can help to reduce stress and anxiety which can negatively impact cognitive function. To achieve GTD, organize tasks based on energy level, which aligns with research showing that our cognitive resources are finite and can be depleted. Embrace the key principles in order to achieve greater productivity and well-being. Get things done and subscribe now for new at Illustrated Books Weekly.